Bobby, it's funny. I'm sorry I've been gone. I got food poisoning. It was so much fun. Not at all. So I haven't really been doing anything. I haven't been going anywhere. Today was like my first time back out amongst humanity and I don't quite think I was ready. I went shopping at Victoria's Secret and they're having a gigantic sale and I literally got trampled by so many people. They were just like panties and it was so, so scary. I don't think I'm ready for the world. So I came back home and I went to sleep for a few hours and then woke up and curled my hair with my new dingle hopper. I'm so excited to get this. I'm gonna try and make the most sense I possibly can today, but <coughs> Excuse me. I have super missed you guys. Hope you've missed me too. Now I can't talk. <gasps> you know what? I need to get something to drink. Excuse me. God, this is what happens when you are in a mummified state for like three and a half days and you try and talk to people. Do you ever just like forget how to talk? It's almost like you take a vow of silence. Like if you're really sick or something or you're just really antisocial for like a few days and you literally talk to no one and then all of a sudden you start talking and you're like blah, blah, and like you just, I don't know. It could be like that guy from Men in Black and be like sugar in water and that's like all you can say. I need a beverage. And now it's a tea vlog. Mmm. Mm. I thought today's new video would be about my tattoos and my one little piercing, but I just got done recording that and it was literally like 40 something minutes long of talking so that's gonna literally take me like half a lifetime to edit. I'm gonna do my video today that I had planned in the future. So I'm gonna do the next video first that I had planned for you guys. I don't know. Uh, this one's this one's gonna be happening first, which is my top I think I did nine, top nine, who does that? Top nine nail polishes for summer. I think it was this week that it's like the first official day of summer, even though it's already been summer in Texas since like February. I went out and bought some of these little fake finger, they're called the color wheel. I actually went and got these little dingle hoppers from Sally's today so I could paint swatches like, some kind of professional beauty vlogger, which I just, I never, I never will be. So here are my top nine colors for summer. Can I just talk like that for the entire video? A lot of these nail polishes were gifted to me. A lot of these nail polishes actually came from you guys in subscriber mail. I have a lot of different types of polish in here, so I have some drugstore nail polishes and some higher end polishes so hopefully there's something in here that everyone will like. Something fun for us all to share. Yeah, yes. The very first color I'm going to talk about is this color right here. This, this color right here. How do people show these things? I get something professional and it leads to more unprofessionalism. <sighs> What's a swamp girl to do? I don't know if I've talked about this before. I know I've talked about this brand before. Spa Ritual or Spa Ritual if you like to make the same redundant, slightly stupid joke like I do every time I mention this brand of polish. I love these polishes. They are vegan polishes. So I believe that that means that they are formaldehyde free. So you don't get that really pungent odor if you like to paint your nails late at night like I do and then you're like trapped in your bedroom just killing brain cells. This is good for all our entertainment. This color I love. It's called Lucid. It reminds me of my tumbler. It's like a nice almost periwinkle kind of lavender color. It's just quite lovely if you ask me. I just think it's good for summer because it evokes images of the ocean and water and the beach and all kinds of late night blogging activities. These are $10 for me. I get them at the spa that I go to to get manicures and pedicures and such, but some of you have tweeted me and told me that they sell this brand at Sephora now, Ulta? I don't remember which, but one of the two, either Sephora or Ulta. The next 
color on the carousel of progress here was sent to me in my p.o box and it is a new brand of polish that i am absolutely obsessed with this is a wonderful wonderful brand of drugstore polish it's called spoiled and i'm so thankful to those of you guys who have been sending me spoiled polish because i think it's a cvs brand I could be wrong. Like I talked about in my anxiety video, I'm really, really phobic of going into drugstores. I know this is a drugstore brand of polish. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'll try and show you guys. It has that kind of like flat, wide brush. Can you guys see that? And that is really, really super fast and a lot easier for me to paint my nails with for some reason than like, you know, conventional, regular, kind of more tubular kind of brushes. I really love the flat brushes a lot better. The consistency of this is wonderful. You know, sometimes you get drugstore nail polishes and they're really like thick or gloppy. This is really, it paints like a higher end nail polish. It's wonderful. I don't know how much it costs though because I did not buy it. It was it was gifted to me. So this red color that I am in love with is called Hit the Breaks. For those of you who have been on my channel for a while, you guys know I love the Rum Diary. There's just a whole lot of like classic look in that movie. A whole lot of red nail polish going on. That is why I'm just such a huge fan of this. I love it, love it, love it. So this color is Hit the Breaks by Spoiled. Next polish I have been using so so much this was sent to me as well by a lovely lovely lady named rebecca in the uk so i'm not sure once again if you can get these polishes in the states i know you can get rimmel brand polishes but i don't know if you can get this specific color or this like specific you know how different brands make like different lines of nail polishes so this is rimmel london 60 seconds in sky high and it is a beautiful teal turquoise kind of color makes me think of Aztecs you know building pyramids this is like a bright turquoise it's magical I would assume it's not too too expensive once again I'd kind of put this in a drugstore brand of polish Rimmel next polish is okay you guys um I finally caved in and got some Deborah Lippmann polish and I know that it's expensive but I'm in love with it I got three bottles of Deborah Lippmann polish from an awesome website called Flatiron Experts so I finally caved in and got this color that I've been dying to get forever it's called glitter in the air it is a super super kawaii looking polish it's like a very translucent baby blue color with pink and kind of baby blue glitter it's kind of like baby pink and baby blue glitter it does take a couple coats to make it even semi opaque this is kind of I don't know if you want to go with almost like a natural look I'm kind of really into that lately like almost just having like a clear coat or a glitter coat on my nails and not even having it be like a color but just having it be like a glitter does does that make any sense so this takes three coats to even make it semi opaque but I love just even having it one coat and just having like a suggestion of nail polish. The next color that I got is another Deborah Lippmann polish and this is called Mermaid's Dream. I love mermaids. I wish that I could breathe underwater like a mermaid. I just want to be a mermaid. What this is is a almost like very light teal shade of polish and it has a lot of very fine glitter in it and it kind of almost has like a 3d effect if you're a fan of like textured effects polishes what have you you will probably really like this it definitely has some metallic aspects to it so if you are a fan of really shiny metallic -y type mermaid looking stuff you will love that polish nail polish obsession right now totally totally in love with this shade it is deborah Lippmann as well and it's called stairway to heaven i did a whole instagram post on this baby today it's beautiful it doesn't matter if you put one coat or three coats it has a lot of chunky chunky glitter in it i love chunky glitter it has a lot of iridescent chunky glitter flex in it and the base of it is like a clearish kind of 
kind of white. I don't know. That's what's on my nails right now, so I can just actually show it to you right here. This is what it looks like with three coats. I painted it on for the first time this afternoon and I put one coat on and it was absolutely stunningly beautiful. I almost just put one coat on but then I was like oh let's just see how it looks. So I ended up putting three coats on. This you can literally just put one coat on and you will get a lot of glitter and it's I don't know. I just I really love it and I'm probably like addicted to Deborah Lippmann polishes from here on out. The next polish was actually in my top 10 spring polishes too. I'm still obsessed with it. Neon is a huge trend this summer and this polish was actually sent to me by two subscribers in subscriber mail. This came out in the Shop Mac Cook Mac collection and it's Max Alfredo. It is a super super you know really bright neon yellowy green kind of color. I'm sure you could find a dupe for this if you didn't want to like order it online or look for it or anything else because I know when I was crazy crazy looking for this polish a lot of you were recommending I think it was like a Target brand or something there was a dupe for this. Last two little colors here. This polish was sent to me in the mail as well. Subscriber mail. And this is a China glaze color. I believe I've talked about this before. This is my new staple lavender color. It's called Sweet Hook. And like I said before, it just makes me think of Captain Hook being real sweet. I've always been a fan of China glaze polishes. They're just a really good consistency. They're very, very opaque. You really can get by with doing one coat. I've worn it a lot and the bottle is still really really full so love love this. It's kind of a really really light pastel lavender. I like it a lot. Last polish. I don't even know if you guys can see this on the little sample card. It is a really really light pearlescent color. I found this at Ulta. It's a Revlon shade. They totally suckered me into this you guys. It's called Runway Pearl and they had this big billboard in my Ulta and they were like oh this is the biggest sensation on the French runway and I was like did somebody say French runway? I swear you could like I don't know put an umbrella on your head and be like it was on the French runway and I'd buy like 12 of them. I'm kind of like a sucker for evocative images like that. I think it was like five dollars four dollars i've only put it on once but i really really like it it's really pretty it's really fresh that's all folks as usual i would love to get you guys's feedback or if you made a video like this feel free to video response it just let me know if you guys like any of these polishes or what you think i don't know let me know about spoiled brand i'd be interested to hear if this is a cvs polish only or if you can get it at other places or if you guys are Deborah Lippmann addicts as well let me know share the problem with me so as usual please take a minute to subscribe I would love to have you as a member of the swamp family stay give an alligator its wings so sorry I abandoned you guys for three days being sick, it really sucked. Yeah, yes. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl. Or if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and there I am also at graveyardgirl. And I will see you guys later. Bye!